How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. So I get questions all the time of, if I have a budget of around $100, what should I pick up? What are good deals to get? What are good investment books to get? So I decided to do a list of 100 comic books if you have a budget of $100. So all these comic books on here will have had actual sales of $100 or less. So yes, here's a caveat. There's gonna be lots of people I know that say like, I can't find this book for under $100. I'm not going to talk about people that put their books at a super high price, right? This is actual sales. These are actually ones that have sold for this price. And every comic on here is sold within the last, you know, handful of months for $100 or less. So let's look at these books, 100 comic books. If you have a budget of $100, these are books I think that are pretty good investments. Like if someone came to me five, 10 years down the line and they bought every single book on this list and they gave me their collection to sell for them in, in one of my auctions or something like that, I'd be like, you did a good job. That's what I would think. I would rate this a pretty good collection to get if your budget is only $100 for each one of these books. Now, these are in no particular order, and there is a lot more than I put on the list. None of these are better than the other one that's on the list. So it's not like number one is the best one and number 10 is you know a little worse. Not like that at all. It's just a list of 100 books. There's also a ton of books I haven't put on this list. So if you comment below, hey, David, what about this book? I'm like, yeah, that's a good book, but you know this list is only 100 books long, so I can't put every book on here. And just because I didn't put that book doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to be on this list. So huge caveat right there. So these are 100 books that I think are great investments in the long term. All right, first up is we got an Amazing Spider-Man 362. This is the second appearance of Carnage, and this is where Venom and Carnage team up. You can get a 9.8 for $53, and the last couple sales have been around, you know, $70, $80, and some even at $53. Yes, for a 9.8. I think that was a good book. Next, we got Marvel Spotlight 12. This is the first appearance of the Son of Satan. You can get a 9.0 for $92. Yes, that's what one sold for. Next, we got Amazing Spider Man 361, the first appearance of Carnage. A 9.6, you can get a 9.6 for $100. As you can see there, there's one that's sold for $100. Next, we got New Mutants 87. You can get a 9.0 for $89. Now, this is the first appearance of Cable. Obviously, this is a really good book to get. Now, a lot of times you'll look at these books and you'll go like, hey, why do you say some in a 9.8, some in a 9.0, all this kind of stuff. If I think a book is not worth the investment at a particular grade, I will not put it on this list. So. This being a 9.0, you might think, oh, that's kind of low. You should go for a 9.8. Yes, in an ideal world, you should probably get a 9.8, but that's going to be way more expensive. But again, if someone came to me five, 10 years down the line and they had this book in a 9.0, I said you did a good job. Next, we got Avengers Annual 10, the first appearance of Rogue. You can get a 9.2 for about $100. Next, we got Alpha Flight number one. You can get a 9.6 for $62. This had a long ongoing series, so I think this is a good book to get. Next, we got Marvel Secret Wars, uh, number one. You can get a 9.4 for $81. Black Panther, number one. You can get an 8.5 for $76. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, number one. You can get yourself an 8.5 for $96. Now, you might be thinking, an 8.5, oh, that seems kind of low. Yeah, it is. If you could get a higher grade, I would definitely prefer that, like, but if we're trying to keep it under you know, $100 and under, I still think this is a good book. Even at 8.5, it still holds pretty strong long term. Next, we got Daredevil 169, the second appearance of Elektra. You can get a 9.4 for about $75. X-Men 282, you can get a 9.6 for $49. This is the first appearance of Bishop. A Batman 200, you can get yourself a 6.5 for about $65. Now, all these books on here are actually cased. These aren't raw, ungraded. These are actually cased prices. So they're usually cased by CGC. That's why I go off of. So you can get a, yourself a 6.5, already cgc for $65. That's a pretty good deal, thinking about that it costs like nearly almost like $40, $50 just to send it to CGC to get graded with shipping and insurance and all that kind of stuff and their fee. So yeah, and especially if you can get yourself Silver Age, 
already graded of like the big name characters like spider-man batman you know get some marvel in there some x-men things like that if you even if they're like lower grade especially spider-man you know if i was truly doing this list it would be literally just all silver age spider-man <laughs> that you could get that would be on this list but i'm not going to do that there's just silver age spider-man is really good in pretty much any grade that you can get you know if you get yourself a 3.0 or 4.0 or something like that is still a really good get Next, we got Micronauts number one. You can get yourself a 9.6 for $60. Next, we got the New Mutants number one. You can get a 9.8 for $75. All Star Comics 58. You can get yourself a 7.5 for $91. This is the first appearance of Power Girl. And as you can see up there, you can get yourself one for $91 sold less than a month ago. So, yeah, sometimes I put the little graph up there to kind of illustrate my point on what they've been going for. And yeah, even at a 7.5, which seems kind of low, but it's still the first appearance of Power Girl. These are keys. These are all gonna be on here are keys. They're gonna be like first appearances, the start of a series, or you know maybe a second appearance or an origin or something like that. But these are all gonna be really good books, really good keys to have on this list. Next, we got Superboy number nine, first appearance of King Shark. You can get a 9.8, one sold for $92. Conan 24. You get yourself first full appearance of Red Sonia. You can get a 6.5 for $74. Captain America 110, a 5.0 sold for $93. You get a Captain America 118. This is a second appearance of the Falcon. A CGC 7.0 sold for $84. Amazing Spider Man 124. This is the first appearance of Man Wolf. You can get a 6.5 for $91. Wolverine Limited number one, a 9.2 sold for $98. Now, a lot of times you'll be asking me, it's like, okay, how do I get these prices? As you can clearly see, one sold for $98, but there's other ones selling for other prices, like you know, 110, 120, all this kind of stuff. So how do I, how am I that lucky one that gets for $98? Well, you just gotta hunt. That's the thing, is if you're trying to build out an investment say into these comics like obviously you like these comics buy what you love but if you're trying to build out say an investment portfolio of comics and you want to buy the best one you make a lot of your money when you buy the thing that you're investing in so you want to buy at a good deal so that's what you got if you're buying at the peak right you know someone on here sold one for 154 dollars for the same nine two right and another one sold for 98 dollars so in order for this one to eventually get up to the $150 range over time, it's gonna take many years to average out that. So you wanna buy on the low end. So make sure you're looking for the low end stuff. All right, Moon Knight number one, or a 9.6 sold for $95. Mr. Miracle, the first appearance of Mr. Miracle. You can get a 7.5 for $77. Avengers 55, first appearance of Ultron. A 7.0 sold for $83. And you got Amazing Spider-Man 299. This is an early Todd McFarlane, and it's the first cameo appearance of Venom. A 9.4 sold for $95. Now, this is not taking into account of, obviously, shipping charges and things like that. I'm not going to deal with that kind of stuff because I never know what they really are going to be. So this is just what they actually sold for. So yeah, some places have free shipping. Some places they charge a little bit, but this is what the book price actually went for. You got Iron Man 118, a 9.4, sold for $91. Batman 244, a 4.5, selling for $72. This is a Neil Adams cover and an early Raja Ghoul appearance. Amazing Spider Man 239, this is the second appearance of the Hobgoblin. You can get yourself a 9.6, one sold for $76. Next, we got Amazing Spider Man 195, a 9.4, sold for $62. This is the second appearance of Black Cat. Now, a lot of these second appearances are actually kind of much cheaper than they should be. Another one comes to mind is X-Force 2, which is the second appearance of Deadpool. This is the second appearance of Black Cat, and it goes for way, way cheaper. So as Black Cat starts getting more and more expensive, a lot of people won't be able to afford it. So they're going to go to the next best thing, which will be this Spider-Man 195 second appearance of Black Cat. Avengers 52, this is when the Black Panther joins the Avengers. You can get yourself a 6.5 for $54. X-Men 221, a 9.4 sold for $75. This is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Booster Gold number one, first appearance. 
A 9.6, you can get it for $90. Next, we got Iron Fist number one. A 9.0 sold for $100. Now, many of you are probably thinking like, well, what kind of return can I get on all these? It's hard to say, you can't really predict the future. I would not be surprised if you doubled your money on, you know, overall on all these books in the next, you know, five, 10 years. Amazing Spider-Man 265. This is the first appearance of Silver Sable. A 9.6 sold for $81. Spectacular Spider-Man number one. This is the first of a series. A 9.4 sold for $80. X-Factor 6. This is the first full appearance of Apocalypse. A 9.6 sold for $94. Amazing Spider-Man 119. This is not like a key as in a first appearance or anything like that. But it is also a nice Bronze Age where he battles the Hulk. You can get yourself a 6.0 for $90. It's a very sought after book. You can get yourself an X-Men number one, the newer series from the 1990s. A 9.8 you can get for $61. Now you might be thinking, ooh, wow, an X-Men number one. Didn't they print like millions of copies of these? It's true. Yeah, they have. But as time goes on, this is a very you know, popular book. It's been, you know, cover homage multiple, multiple times. Um, this book will never hit like the thousand dollar range at any, any point in whoever's watching this lifetime, right? It's never going to be a thousand dollar book. But at one point, this was hitting as high as, you know, a hundred and fifty dollars um, a couple years ago. So it could easily hit that again in another five or ten years. Um, on average, they might have sold for $61, but I see this thing selling for like $80, $90. So you could probably, get, if you hunt and get a good deal on this, you can get it for like 60 bucks. In like five, 10 years, it's probably gonna go up a, a bit. It's not gonna be one of those ones where it just runs away and just goes for, you know, to the moon, so to speak. But it's a, I don't see this thing really going down too much if you can get yourself a good deal on it. Next, we got Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44. This is the first appearance of Nightwing. A CGC 9.4 sold for $95. Superman, Man of Steel, 18, first full doomsday. A 9.8, you can pick it up for $91. Amazing Spider-Man, 67, Silver Age. A 7.0 of this book, selling for $75. Avengers 54, first cameo of Ultron. A 7.0, selling for $66. Werewolf by Night 37, an 8.5, selling for $99. This is the third appearance of Moon Knight. Marvel Spotlight 28, this is the first solo uh, series of Moon Knight. An 8.0, selling for $100. And actually, this book has even come down since I've done this a little bit. And that's the thing. Some of these books have dropped a little more. Some of them have gone up a little more since I started this list. But if you look around, these are still good buys, even if you buy it and it goes down a little bit, you know. We're in kind of a difficult time, but still in the end, like I said in the beginning, if you came to me five, 10 years down the line with a box of 100 books and you somehow bought every single one on this list, um, I would look at it and go, you did a good job. Like these are, these are all good investment keys that I would recommend for anyone that has a budget of $100. Amazing Spider-Man 200, a 9.6, selling for $45. New Teen Titans, number one, a 9.6 selling for $92. Predator, number one, this is the first time in a comic book, a 9.4 selling for $64. What If, 31, this is very desired because it's where the Wolverine killed the Hulk, which would never happen, but a 9.6 selling for $89. Thundercats, number one, first appearance, a 9.4 selling for $76. Miss Marvel, number one, star of a series, a 9.2, selling for $91. X-Men, number four, first appearance from Omega Red, a 9.8, selling for $95. Captain Marvel, number one, a 7.0 Silver Age of this book, selling for $91. Now, this is not his first appearance. He first appeared in Marvel Super Heroes 12, but still, this is an early appearance of Captain Marvel, and it's a Silver Age book, and look at that, a 7.0, selling for $91. That's a good one. Omega Men number three, first appearance of Lobo, a 9-2 selling for $85. Nova number one, an 8-5 selling for $77. Spectacular Spider-Man number 90, you can get yourself a 9-6 around $84. What If number one, a 9-4 selling for 
Amazing Spider-Man 252, this is the first appearance of the black costume, later turned, it, turned out to be a symbiote, and then which later turned into be Venom. You can get yourself a seven five eighty nine dollars Punisher number one, start of the Unlimited series, nine six sixty two dollars Daredevil, 158 This is the first time Frank Miller started on the Daredevil run, and eight five ninety seven dollars Spider-Man 298, first Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. You can get yourself a 9-4, selling for $90 recently. Amazing Spider-Man 72. This is a great classic cover. Everyone loves this cover. 7-5, 100 bucks. Spectacular Spider-Man number 27. This is the first time that Frank Miller drew Daredevil. A 9-4, sold for $42. Special Marvel Edition 16, second appearance of Shang-Chi, $9266. Spider-Man number one, a 9-8 silver, selling for $76. Wolverine 27, a 9-6, selling for $61. Shazam number one, this is the first time that Shazam went over to DC Comics. You can get a 9-2 for $89. X-Force 2, second appearance of Deadpool, a 9-8, 68 bucks. I've said a million times, this book being this low is kind of criminal. I've always put it, anytime I put make a list of like, oh, what's an inexpensive book that you can get in like a 9.8, this is always in the top of the list. I mean, the second appearance of Deadpool, he's on the cover. Yeah, there's a high print run of this book. I get it. But it's a second appearance of Deadpool. If you can pick yourself a 9.8 for 68 bucks, I think that's a good deal. Because it has... Dare, uh, Deadpool continues to rise higher and higher and higher and the New Mutants 98 becomes more and more expensive people are going to be looking for alternatives second appearance ROM number one you can get a 9.6 for $70 Iron Man 282 this is the first full appearance of War Machine a 9.2 $80 Thor 411 first appearance of the New Warriors a 9.6 $59 X-Men 142, a 9-4, selling for $94. Ghost Rider number one, this is the 1990 series, a 9-6, only 55 bucks. Marvel Team Up 141, a 9-0, selling for $87. This is part of the whole symbiote and black costume saga. Green Lantern 86, you got yourself, you know, classic cover, dealing with a uh, heroin overdose and speedy. Seven five seventy eight dollars. Like anytime you can get these bronze and silver for under a hundred bucks, and even in decent grade, a seven five is a decent grade. That's something you could definitely hang in your wall. And it's not going to be all tattered and falling apart. So, you know, I would definitely recommend these types of books. Batman six thirty five. First appearance of the Red Hood, which turns out to be Jason Todd. And you got a nine four selling for ninety nine dollars. First appearance of Bane, Vengeance of the Bane number one, a 9-4, selling for $92. Transformers number one, first Transformers, a 9-0, selling for $98. Green Lantern 85, this is a great cover. A 5-5 five, five you can get for 66 bucks. Spawn number one, a 9-6, 54 bucks. Now, if you can, like a lot of these books on here, I'm getting, I'm basically saying this is the bare minimum grade you can get. So Spawn number one, nine six. I wouldn't suggest a nine four. I barely even would suggest a nine six. Like if that's all, because a nine eight is going to run you around like hundred and twenty, so above that mark. But I looked at the comic. There's a lot of comics I saw. And I was like, oh, this is a good comic to get. But I'm like, what grade can you get for if your budget is hundred bucks? I'd be like, uh, great comic book, but the grade that you can afford for the hundred dollars, I would not recommend. So I didn't put it on this list. So if it's on the list, I recommend that grade. I don't really recommend a 9.4 of this book. Wolverine number one, a 9.4 selling for $63. Batman the Killing Joke, a 9.6 selling for $63. Now make sure you get yourself a first printing of this. There's like seven or eight printings. You want a first printing of this one. Hulk number one, a 9.4 selling for 100 bucks. Batman 4.97, a 9.8 selling for $70. Teen Titans 12, first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs, a 9.6, selling for 96 bucks. 
Hulk 449, first appearance of the Thunderbolts, a 9-4, selling for $91. Ultimate Fallout, number four, but this is the second printing. You can get yourself a 9-4, selling for $92. John Burns, Next Men, number 21. This is the first appearance of Hellboy in this comic book format. Before that, he was in a kind of a dime press magazine from over in Italy. A 9-2, $96. Walking Dead 19, a 92, 100 bucks. Punisher 1 limited series, a 94 selling for $91. Captain America 6, this is the first appearance of the Winter Soldier, a 96 selling for $86. Ultimate Spider-Man number 1, a 96 selling for $98. Batman Beyond special, you can get a 96 for $90. Now this isn't the Batman Beyond number 1. That is far more expensive, but this is kind of like a reprint, so to speak, but it's a little different. It's the same story in the same, inside and the same comic book on the outside. Obviously, if you look down at the bottom left, it has this big bar that goes through it. That's kind of separates it. Next, we got Static. First appearance of Static Shock, a $96, $95. Next, we got Web of Spider-Man, number one, a $96, $58. Deadpool, number one, his first solo series, a 9.6 selling for $40. It's pretty much case cost. Black Panther 2, first appearance of Shuri, a 9.6, $83. Now I know this book has been dropping a lot recently, but I think it's coming towards that tail end. But even still, if it drops a little more, like look at this book, you got the first appearance of Shuri. Now she's already been in multiple movies, she's probably gonna be more. She's already has, you know, this awareness about her. And that's the thing, it's like the demand for her is spiked beyond, you know, if you went back I don't know, five, seven years ago before she ever existed in the MCU in any format whatsoever. People didn't even know who she was. So just having her name out there adds value as more people want to collect it. Dark Knight Returns, number one, a 9-4, $89. Sentry, number one, a 9 $85. $8. Venom, number three, first appearance of Noel, a 9 $77. And last on this list is Sandman 8, first appearance of death, a 9-4, recently sold for $93. So there is my list of 100 comic books that I would suggest if your budget was $100 max. So a lot of these fall way underneath of it. Some, you know, right on that $100 mark. And again, if you got every single book on this list, at that, you know, that was your budget and every month or whatever it was, you decided to buy one book every year, six months, whatever it was, and you picked a book on this list and then you give me one day, like you show me your collection and I'd be like, yeah, you did good. Because people send me stuff when they sell it through my website and mentally I grade it. I'm like, Ugh, this person, mm -mm. But again, collect what you love. This is just a side thing. If you're thinking about, should I get this book or this book? Well, you know, David says this book is probably a better investment than this book and I like them equally the same, then maybe get that book because that will have you know, better long time returns for your book if you ever decide to sell it one day. So again, that is it. I hope you like this list. I hope it helps people out there knowing what to get, not to get. Again, there's tons of other books that are out there that it's not, I didn't put them on there because, you know, I hate the book or I don't think it's good. It's just because I can only put a hundred on here. So maybe I'll do another hundred comic books for a budget of a hundred dollars. Or maybe next I'll do, a thousand comic books for a thousand dollars. All right. Have a good day.